Welcome back to our video series, Coaching During COVID. I'm joined here today with Brendan Callahan, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. Thanks for joining us, coach. Thanks for having me, Charlotte. This has been a weird year to say the least. Having had most of the last two seasons canceled, how has it felt to not only be able to get back to practices, but also be able to play a few games? Yeah, I remember coming home uh, the first Saturday, we were able to do contact in, you know, 400 days and just be out there with the guys again. And uh, the feeling at practice from our team and the coaches was just was just joy. It was one of the best days, I think, that I had had and the team had had in a, in a long, long time. When you have something that's a passion of yours as a coach or a player, and then you haven't been able to, to do it for such an extended period, that first time was sort of a, a release of a pent up excitement um, you know, that had been for a while. And, and for me, I was actually a little nervous. Like, do I remember how to do this? Uh, you know, luckily it's like riding a bike and, and you get back out there and got into it pretty quick again. But, you know, so it was a lot of excitement. There was some nerves. There was, uh, you know, just, just, a, it was almost like a little bit of shock as well of just, wow, we're actually here and this is happening. So uh, I remember that, that Saturday and it was a nice day out. It was just a, uh, it was a really, really great experience to, uh, to finally be back out there on the field. The freshmen really stepped up during the game against Tufts and the scrimmage at St. Anselm. How has it been to finally see them get to play for the first time in a green and white uniform? Yeah, it's, it's a class that, um, you know, we, we thought was kind of just outside the top 20 as far as, you know, recruiting rankings would go. And, and uh, you know, then in the fall, we got to work with them, but we had to stay 10 feet apart, you know, during our practice. There's only 10 of them. So, you know, the first time that we'd seen those guys uh, in a full field scrimmage running substitutions and everything that we have to do was against tough. We didn't have the numbers in practice to sort of run, you know, run that. So uh, to get out there and see, see what those guys could do was, was really, really exciting. You get a glimpse to the future of the program. And, and I think they had some guys in some spots and taking on bigger roles than they would have if it was a normal year um, because of just, again, the numbers that we had and some of the older guys have been opted out for the remote and all the reasons that they, you know, that they had there. So, you know, what a great experience for those guys to, to get more experience than they, than they normally maybe would have, but then to see them perform so well and be some of our leading scorers and, and our, and our top guys at all positions. Um, I think that just says a lot for, you know, the future of our, of our program in the next couple of years. You know, I thought if we had had a full team this year, this would have been one of the more talented teams we've had in my time. And, and I think, you know, as you look into next year between the guys we have coming back and, you know, these first year guys, you got a, a chance to see a little bit. I think next year's team is going to be uh, the most athletic and talented team we've had in my tenure here. During the last 13 months, what has made you most proud to be associated with this team? Yeah, I mean, listen, when you're talking to, you know, 18 to 22 year old, you know, young men and having to go through the adversity that they've that they've gone through. Um, you know, the fact that we had a group of guys that was that was still together and and we had, a, you know, some of our seniors that came back, you know, not knowing uh, that we'd ever get a chance to be on the field just to, just to be out there uh, against Tufts um, and, and have a team together and ready to go and, and to play that hard really, really made me proud because, you know, you could see throughout our league, there were some other programs that, that maybe didn't handle their stuff that way and weren't able to get on the field this year. So regardless of what any of our results were, just the fact that our leadership and that our guys were committed enough through the course of a year that, that we could get out and nobody else in our league has had two, you know, two games in, right? No, no other team has been able to do that yet. So the fact that we were able to stay together despite all the adversity, despite not knowing if the off-campus guys would ever be able to join us. Um, so to then finally get to that point and in three weeks be able to put something together that we can go out and, and compete was, uh, was really impressive for us. That's that what makes me the most proud. Um, is just how they handled their business through all the adversity. Another important question, how have you and your family been during this whole thing? Yeah, well, I, I appreciate the question, Charlotte, because it's um, it, it's been one of the silver linings, you know, I think in all this uh, with a young family. My boys are just turned nine and, and five years old. And, and uh, with my wife, you know, we've been coaching and, um, you know, and been in this profession. And uh, I don't think I've ever spent as much time with them as I have you know, during, you know, during COVID. So while, you know, it's been so many challenges at work and we want to be doing other things, the time that we've been able to spend together, um, you know, we've got to explore the area. The area here is just incredible as far as doing things outdoors, hiking, skiing, you know, fishing and, and um, you know, all those things there as, as a guy coming from a city, I'd never experienced that stuff. So to be able to be with my family and getting to really enjoy the area here um, and spend that time together, we're not worried about traveling and going places um, you know, that's been, that's been really exciting. Uh, and my boys are into, into hockey pretty big. So, 
Uh, it was a little bit tough during hockey season because uh, we only got a few weeks of hockey in there. Um, so I think we missed out on that, but luckily uh, we were able to get to some of the town rinks and keep skating and, and, uh, and stay active here through the winter. So fam family's been, uh, family's been good. We're in a good place coming out of it, but uh, we are excited to return to a little bit more normalcy and get, get out of town and see some family here this summer. Absolutely. Okay, coach, thank you for joining me today and good luck with the rest of your season. All right, Charlotte, I appreciate you having me.